Hey, what up, guys? Uh, Bear from LA Vape Reviews, and today I am going to be doing a review on uh, Goose Eggs 3.5 mil link tank. Um, it's your typical tank, um, but what uh, makes this a little better is actually comes with a separate tank here just in case your first one should break. Uh, I'll go down a little run through here. It comes with, you know, uh, the 0.5 and 0.3 uh, sub ohm replacement coils. Uh, it's US made Canethal wire. Um, it's 100% Japanese uh, cotton. There's three different levels of airflow. Um, yeah, what else? Um, as you can see here, this is basically what it comes with. So we're gonna go ahead and just do an open up on it and uh, fire it up and see how it works. Load it up with some juice. I'll go ahead and construct it and put it all together for you guys. So let's start. Basically, it comes in this little film wrap here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off. And now you can kind of get a, a clearer picture Beautiful casing, everything's protected. Here's what it looks like outside. Feels very st strong, very heavy duty, which is great. I love the dual little air flows on the bottom. Turn it around so you can see them. And you can take off your tip. Um, from what I understand, these are already installed with a uh, 0.5, but let's just open it up anyway. And just like any other tank, just go ahead and screw it off. Same with this. And then there's your basic, uh, excuse me, it's not basic at all, but here is your atomizer. Let me push that down because so I just pulled it off. This thing looks very well made. Heavy duty. This is all designed and made by Goosig. And I'll put up their information and uh, you can contact Tony uh, should you have any questions. Very nice guy. Uh, I had a chance to meet and uh, talk with him at the um, <coughs> um, recent expo out in Pomona, ECC. And um, he was nice enough to give me one of these to test out and uh, do a review on. So let's go ahead and start um, showing the rest here. Here's your extra tank. Should uh, you break the first one, it happens. I know uh, I've broken, I think, a couple in my day. Pulling it out of my pocket and having it fall. And then here's your extra atomizer. These aren't your standard ones, you know, that you get um, with your Atlantis Aspire. These are actually pretty heavy duty and you can fill it. Uh, you can definitely fill the, the weight on these. So, you know, they're constructed well, um, which is great, you know, because we we like that. We want things that are going to last a while and, um, you know, not have to spend a lot of money on replacing coils and stuff uh, down the road. So I'm really excited to, to fill this up and put it on my... Um, my mod and give it a shot and see how it hits. So let me go ahead and uh, let's fill it up. I'll put it back together. You know, just pretty simple. Just make sure that you're connecting it. Make sure it's snug in there because the last thing you want is juice leaking in. I always hate the gurgles. 
And here's your tank. Here's the inside. I'm just gonna go and fill it up with some juice here real quick. Um, this is three and a half mil, which is huge. This is also bottom fill, but uh, when I was talking to Tony, um, he did say that uh, he was working on um, a top fill tank and uh, he was going to be nice enough to send me one to review on top of that. So as soon as I get that, I will uh, do a review on it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and screw it in here. Um, that way I can get the full capacity of the three and a half mil because I feel that if you have it attached into here, you're not going to be able to fill this up because basically what's going to happen is it's going to go down the tube right out to your mouth. So um, let's go ahead and just put a little juice in there. Three and a half mil, that's a lot. Uh, this is Blom Diggity. He's a local guy too. I think that should do it. You kind of get the gist, but that's it's a lot of juice, I think. And then we'll just go ahead and seal it up. Make sure you get it kind of nice and tight. Not too tight to where you can't get it off next time around, but, you know, tight enough to where you're not going to want anything to leak all over you. And there we have it. Really clean. Uh, I love how it's just clear all the way around through. Um, definitely well crafted. You can tell Tony, uh, he loves what he's doing and he's doing a great job from what I can see so far. I'm really anxious to get this onto my, um, mod and try it out, but you know how it goes. Sometimes when you put in new ones, you gotta let it, uh, prep itself, speed it up. Obviously you can sit there and, you know, suck on it. Here's with everything constructed. Um, I just like to close the air, give it a few sucks on it like that. That way you can kind of get the juice to go through. So this is a 0.5 um, sub ohm atomizer. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I like to hit mine a little higher wattage, so I'm going to go and just crank it down to 25 and see how that works for now. And then if I need to, I can go up to 30. Kind of like the throat hits. You know, that actually has to do with the juice itself, but... Um, no, it looks weird. Sorry, guys. You're here to see me do a review on a tank, not suck on one, so I apologize. <laughs> eh. Actually primed pretty quick, so that's good. So I'm going to crank up the wattage a little bit more here because I can tell already that I'm going to need more. Definitely a lot of juice. Primed really quick, really quick, excuse me. Can taste every hit of the Blom Diggity. Like I said, local guy, check them out. Blueberries, pomegranate, and the tank here itself, the dual, which is huge. I mean, it just looks great. I'm going to be uh, using this now for now on, to be honest with you, and probably put down my Triton, which I've been having a lot of issues with. I'm sure most of you guys have heard that it leaks a lot and sucks through, and I can already tell right now that this isn't going to do that the way it's constructed. Huge clouds. 
great for a tank, especially when you're going to go and enter in a cloud competition or something. And you could tell, like, it primed really fast, which is great. Um, I've had a prime mine, I don't know, 5, 20 minutes, depending on which atomizer you're using. So this is huge. Um, let me give it a couple more hits so you guys can see exactly how it keeps hitting here. And um, at the end of the video, I'll attach this uh, with Tony's information, Gook's, uh, Goosig's account uh, on Facebook. So should you want to get a hold of him and uh, purchase one of these bad boys, I highly recommend it. Um, they also come in different colors as well. This is black. Uh, I also have another red one. And um, here's uh, the pack that you'll get for your atomizers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open that up as well so you guys can kind of see um, how they're laid out. And these are the, po the point .5. Um, as it states on here, durable, pure taste, 100% USA made, uh, cane thaw wire, and organic cotton. Um, here are the atomizers themselves, and as you can see, they are huge. You know the saying, go big or go home, while well, Goosig and uh, Tony decided to go big. I'm excited. This is definitely going to be my all-day tank for now. I'm going to seriously put away my uh, Triton and just keep using this. This thing is great. Let me go and hit chug on it a couple more times so you guys can see the clouds I'm getting because I'm sure by now more juice is primed in there and let's fog up this room. Amazing taste. Huge clouds, which is a plus. No tricks or anything, but I love this. This is great. Tony, kudos. Great job. Absolutely. I see these guys. I wouldn't be surprised competing or even beating um, the Atlantis uh, tanks that, that are put out, especially if their quality kind of keeps going down. No disrespect to them, but the tanks that I've had lately, um, I think because of their popularity, they're just not taking their time in crafting or anything like that. And uh, Tony and Goosig, they're doing the opposite. You can totally tell that they're taking their time on this they thought well thought hard on how to construct it and um did a great job doing it Flavor tastes great too. I love organic cotton. Always makes things taste a little better when it's organic. Um, so yeah, that is the Goosig uh, Air Sub Ohm uh, Hybrid. And uh, should you want to buy this tank, I will put the link on my YouTube page here. And I hope really hope you guys go out and purchase one of these because I guarantee you won't regret it. Uh, I appreciate your guys' time, and uh, hope everybody has a wonderful day. Vape on.